I've been involved in that study from the, the outset of the combination and, and libonectidin is a very novel agent um, we initially developed to be uh, active in platinum resistant cancers um, including small cell lung cancer and we know that anthocyclines like doxorubicin have some activity and so the, uh, the rationale was to combine the, these two drugs which seem to have relatively non-overlapping toxicity um, to see whether that would enhance the activity of the anthocycline. Uh, the data has been maturing now over the last year or two, um, showing really exciting response rates, um, which is we've, we've presented previously. Um, good tolerability, we've modified the, the dose from the initial recommended phase 2 dose from the dose finding study um, to reduce the dose a little bit to make the myelosuppression more tolerable and more manageable when it's going from phase 1 trials into more broader use. Um, and we find it's now very, comp uh, very sort of compatible with safe delivery um, and uh, activity-wise, it's, um, it's remarkable, I think, um, in patients with relapse disease after first-line platinum-based combination treatment. Um, it's manageable and the response rates are, are very good, particularly in patients with platinum-sensitive disease, but also in platinum-resistant disease.